Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. All right, here a big rumor out there that we might see some snow over the next couple of days. Uh, let's talk about that, folks. I believe that rumor is going to come to fruition as we go on through tomorrow into this very time tomorrow night. We should see flakes flying across the screen here. This is the live view from the sleep type weather cam. And things are cold and cloudy out there. It is bitterly cold out there. Clouds moved in late morning. They've been with us all day long. Across the region, you can see an enormous amount of cloud cover from parts of Iowa back down through Illinois on into Missouri as well. One little small area of some flurries, light snow, possibly moving into our western view areas. No big deal here. Those flakes will not make their way all the way into the Quincy area. It does not look like as we have very dry air across the tri states for now. Cold and cloudy tonight. Lows back in the teens by morning. The snow moves in and begins sometime late tomorrow morning into the early afternoon tomorrow. Light snow becoming more moderate as we head on into the evening hours. Several inches of snow and sleet expected. I will show you a map of how I think it will unfold, who will see what and how much coming up in just a moment. But for now, it's going to be quite a mess out there by later on tomorrow evening. 20 degrees. Currently out at the airport with overcast skies. The winds, they're out of the northeast at 9. That's a cold air direction for sure. Highs today only made it up into the lower 20s for many of us. 21 here in Quincy. The normal high, 41 or 20 degrees below average for this time of year, but nowhere near the record of 3 degrees below zero for our overnight low. 1929, we were three below seven this morning. So it was cold out there, just not record setting cold. As we look across the lower 48, we do have plenty of blue on the map indicating cold air. It's 21 in Chicago, 26 in St. Louis, 46 down in Atlanta. We've got 12 degrees. If you have anyone you know up there in Bismarck, North Dakota, they're talking cold stuff as well. It's 20 locally here in Quincy, 19 in Macomb, 25 in Keokuk. Lower 20s as you head across the river into Hannibal and back out towards Kirksville. When you factor in the northeast wind, it feels like 9 degrees outside here in Quincy, 10 above zero in Macomb and 16 down in Pittsfield. So here's the setup. You saw this last night. The bundle of energy that's going to bring us the snow well out over the southwest part of the country. It's going to ramp up, join forces with the lead impulse coming out of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Already snowing out in parts of Kansas, back down into, oh, Arkansas and Oklahoma. We've got a wintry mix going on. Clouds are already in place here. We've got the clouds moving across the region as we go on into tomorrow right around lunchtime. Look at the blues, indicating the light snow becoming more increasingly across the region. It will sweep across the area as we go through the afternoon. By 10 o'clock tomorrow night, snow ongoing across the region. It should last off and on for tomorrow night, ending by Friday morning as some light snow showers and some flurries. The bottom line is it's going to be a little bit of a mess for us as we go on through the next 36 hours. Here's what I'm forecasting. Five to eight inches total by Friday morning for Keokuk back down here towards Quincy. South of Hannibal, we'll have some sleet mix in, knocking down the snow totals three to six inches is there off to the east three to five inches east of Quincy and then as we go further out to the west eight to ten inches further out north and west towards Kirksville and for some of our far western viewers outside of that we have winter storm warnings in effect for tomorrow we're looking at a low tonight around 16 with clouds tomorrow the snow develops a gusty east wind near 30 miles an hour we'll start to blow that snow around tomorrow night and then we're going with 23 degrees for an overnight low tomorrow night with that snow continuing across the region and then we'll end it with some flurries on Friday with 31 for a high, 29 and partly sunny on Saturday. And then over the next few days thereafter, 41 now. I push the chance of rain back out towards Monday. Call it partly cloudy on Sunday. And there you go, a little rain-snow mix on Monday. Just like we saw this past Monday evening, I think we might see something close to that happening again with rain ending as a mix of snow and rain changing over to snow. And uh, it looks like temperatures back in the 40s for the most part next week. I like how you're just trying to move right on past that and get to next week when it's going to be a little better. You know what? There's a lot of fans of snow here in the tri-states, and so I don't want to, you know, be shortchanging them, but, you know, it is going to be a little bit troublesome probably later on tomorrow night. Where yeah. did you find a fan of That's snow? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. How about start Not right here? Desk. I'll start right here. <laughs> I'm a big winter fan. Yeah. Okay. We won't Sorry hold that against that, you. <laughs> Can't Thanks, we? Thanks, Mike. I can't? It won't do any good. All right. All right.